I wanted to ask about some nuclear issues. It seems that um, Lockheed Martin is a, is a major defense contractor. Uh, they produce nuclear weapons and nuclear delivery systems. And uh, Congress regularly votes to upgrade the U.S. nuclear capabilities by contracting with organizations like Lockheed Martin. Uh, they spent $14 million last year lobbying Congress, the Defense Department, and the administration in other ways to get their pet projects through. Now, I think you'll agree with me that uh, for the U.S. to use a nuclear weapon to combat uh, the kind of enemies that we have nowadays is utterly ridiculous. And what is the U.S. doing keeping on building up its nuclear weapons inventory, nuclear delivery uh, systems inventory? Um, it's doing that, as near as I can make out, because we have too much money in politics, lobbying, campaign contributions. What would you do about that? I would continue doing it. Uh, I, uh, I disagree with the premise. Uh, I was focusing this morning on terrorism, which is a threat. But also, you have China is uh, uh, dramatically increasing its military capacity. We see Putin uh, still has a large nuclear arsenal now uh, trying to uh, uh, reestablish part of the old Soviet Union. I guess the last thing we ever want to do is uh, use a nuclear weapon. And to me, the way to avoid it is to have a strong nuclear deterrent so that countries know that if they do uh, come after the United States, or Iran, uh, and certainly in North Korea, that these countries know the U.S. has a strong nuclear deterrent. So I think, uh, listen, in the real world in which we live, uh, nuclear weapons are essential as a deterrent. They've maintained uh, the peace for large parts since 1945, and uh, uh, anyone who suggests that we should uh, reduce our nuclear weapons to our pull back on our nuclear weapons at a time that Russia is re-emerging, at a time when China is increasing its capacity when North Korea had nuclear weapons and Iran would be on the verge of nuclear weapons, I think it would be uh, terrible, maybe even a suicide pact for the U.S.